Now it's time to talk about envelopes and not these kind of envelopes, these kind of envelopes. And they're an amazing tool for helping to shape the way that sounds from our synthesizers are being performed and they give us control over how long these sounds are going to last for as well. Because you'll notice that while we can control the amount of silence we have between our notes, say for example, I wanted to play 60, then sleep for one and then play 62, I can do that and I can keep changing the length of this sleep command so that there's more time between the two notes. Here's four beats between the two notes. And there we go, it took a while to come out, but that was our four beats of sleep. But we can't do anything at the moment to change the length of our actual notes that the synthesizers are playing. That's where envelopes come in, and they're not really anything new. In fact, they've existed ever since the beginnings of electronic and synthesized music. All musical sounds have certain things in common. They have to start at some point, then they hang around for a certain amount of time, and then they go away at some point. But there's a huge amount of variety in how different instruments and different sounds can go through that process. If we think about playing notes on the piano, all of those sounds kind of have a very similar shape. When we hit the key, the sound starts almost immediately. It's only really the amount of time it takes for the hammer to hit the string before we have some sound coming from the instrument. And also, the piano is really, really good at sustaining sound. And so once that note has started, we can expect it to hang around as long as we keep the key pressed for maybe 10, 15 or 20 seconds, depending on how hard we hit the key and the kind of instrument that we're playing on. But the piano is also really good at stopping sounds. So as soon as we let the key up, we let go of the key, then a dampener comes down and stops that note immediately. So the shape of our piano notes might look something like this. A very, very quick beginning to the sound, a very, very long and sustained middle of the sound, and then a very, very quick ending to the sound. And when we try and draw these characteristics of sounds out on a graph like this, then we call that an envelope. And these are really, really useful when we're trying to play around with our synthesizers because it means that we can tell the synthesizer what kind of sound characteristics we want it to have. Do we want the note to start very, very slowly? Do we want the note to carry on in a very sustained way like the piano does? Or do we want it to go away very quickly? How do we want our sounds to play out? That is exactly what we can do with envelopes and that's what we'll have a look at in the next video.